Okay, so now we're going to do on uh, worksheet 7-9, we're going to do number 2, which is 4 and 1 half <coughs> minus, or I'm sorry, 4 minus 1 and 1 half. And I've already written that down on my paper. I'm going to set my worksheet aside. And then I've already built some of these numbers. So if I go into my archives, um, I have, there's 4. And there's one and one half. And so I can already see that I have a problem because I can't subtract this one half from nothing. The fra this four is not giving me anything. It's not even a fraction. So the first thing I need to do is I actually need to make four into a fraction. And the simplest way to do that is to write it as four over one. Okay? And then I'm going to keep my minus sign. And then I'm actually just going to write down 1 and 1 half, so that now this is at least in a fraction. So now I have an improper fraction, and I have a mixed number. And so I'm going to take my mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction as well. I'm going to bring down my 4 over 1, and I'm going to turn my improper fraction into, or I'm sorry, a mixed number into an improper fraction. So I'm going to take my 2 times my 1 plus my 1, which is going to give me 3 over 2 for my um, mixed number. And you can see that over here. I've got one, two, three halves that are equal to my one and one half. So these are the same. It's just written in different forms. And then my four is the same as well. I've got four over one. Everything's fine. Except everything's not fine because I do not have a common denominator at the bottom. So the simplest way to do this is to um, use two because two is a multiple of one. Everything's a multiple of one. So this one is going to stay 3 over 2, but this one is going to become a 2. And I like to put this little 2 right here because then it makes me feel like I'm half done, even if I'm not. So that's going to become 8 over 2. And if you look over here, you can count these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because what I did to 1 to make it 2 was took it times 2. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So I now have 8 over 2 minus 3 over 2, which is a really simple fraction. And I can actually take 8 minus 3 and get 5 over 2. And if I go to my next picture, you can see up here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for my answer. And then I pulled out that 1, 2, 3 halves at the bottom. And then to turn that into a mixed number, I'm just going to take my numerator, put it under the box. My denominator goes outside the box. 5 goes into 2 two times. Minus 2, I'm sorry, 4, is equal to 1. 1 becomes my remainder. And then this right here is my fraction. My quotient becomes my big number. Bottom stays the same, just like it is up here. And my numerator is my one half. I'd also like to note that during this video, my class was in the room and they were super quiet and awesome. Have a good day. Bye.